Everyone should help one another and avoid violation against human right. Everyone should act and be matured in their actions. This was the advice given by AAP leader Elvis Combs on the Anti-Torture Day on Thursday. The Anti-Torture Day Awareness Program was organized in association with the National Confederation of Human Rights on Thursday at Avenue Hotel in Madgaon. AAP leader Elvis Combs and advocate Nazma Sheikh addressed a large gathering present at the program. Elvis said that people should be united and they should fight against human rights violation. Advocate Nazma Sheikh explained penalties and laws regarding human rights. This event is a small gathering organized by the National Confederation of Human Rights Organizations. A lot of human rights organizations that fight for various human rights causes. They have come together and they are commemorating this day. Although it was in June, the month of June 26, uh, due to Eid, they have brought it today. And it's just sharing of views how human rights of people can be protected. So I think uh, the views have been shared. People are ready to help one another because the kind of atrocities that take place, whether you are in the prison or outside, it is one and the same. Human rights violation should be controlled, should be stopped. That is the motto of this organization. The Constitution gives utmost importance to human dignity. Section 20, Article 20 protects a person from, from self-incrimination. The police subject a person to brutal and continuous torture to make him confess to a crime even if he has not committed the same. Article 20, uh, Article 21 declares that no person shall be deprived of his life and personal liberty except according to procedures established by law. Article 22 grants protection to person who are arrested or detained and requires that a citizen arrested under any law has to be informed of the, ground, the grounds for his arrest and guarantees right to consult and be defended by a legal practitioner, practitioner of his choice. Our reporter Sandeep Tuvekar from Markao.